The GitLab Kubernetes agent allows a secure bidirectional connection between GitLab and any Kubernetes cluster. In this video, I'll show you how to set up this connection using the newly introduced GitLab Kubernetes agent user interface, which streamlines the setup of your GitOps workflows. Hi, my name is Cesar Saavedra, Technical Marketing Manager at GitLab. Let's get started. We already have a Kubernetes cluster running. Since it's running at the group level, the apps group level, let's go ahead and create a project inside this group. Within this directory, we'll create next a file called configyaml, but it needs to be located under specific directory. The directory needs to be .gitlab agent C Saavedra agent K. It is under agents where the configuration of all your agents will reside. In this case, I only have one agent. And under that directory, we'll create a file called config.yaml. This is basically the configuration of the agent. This is saying that the project that will be observed for changes and updates is this one here. Tech Marketing CD Workshop GitOps Apps Pool Based GitOps. And the path under that project will be manifest, and any file under that subdirectory that has the suffix YAML, YML, or JSON. Next, we need to go to the Kubernetes cluster. And on this screen, you see the Kubernetes cluster there, it's an EKS cluster. And we click on GitLab Agent Manage Clusters. We say Integrate with GitLab. And here we select the agent that we just created. Now to install the agent that runs within the Kubernetes cluster, here's the command we need to run. So let's copy the command. Here I have set up my command line to be able to connect to the EKS cluster. And I've done that by creating a file called config C Saavedra GitOps EKS under my .cube directory. And this is basically the information that I need to provide to cube config so that it can successfully log in or connect to the cluster. And that's the uh, HTTP address for it. One more thing I did was I define a variable called kubeconfig that points to that specific file. That way, when I run this command, it should be connecting to it. Very good. So the GitLab agent has been installed on the Kubernetes cluster. Let's check the pods that are up and running. And there it is. The agent is deployed and running in the EKS cluster. So next, let's head to the pool-based directory and in here let's go ahead and create a folder called manifests and in manifests let's create a file that we'll call nginx.yaml let's paste the configuration for an nginx deployment There are now two Nginx pods up and running. And as you can see here, there were two replicas, so that's consistent. So let's add one more. So let's edit. Let's put a three here. And before we do that, let me see if we can do the following. Let's do a watch here. Very good. So let's uh, commit changes. And see, there's a third Nginx deployment that is spawned. And there it is. The Kubernetes agent is actually taking care of bringing up a third Nginx instance as soon as the uh, YAML file was updated. So that's uh, one and two, and it's creating one right there. And there it is. We have the three Nginx pods up and running. So we have shown how you can streamline the integration of your Kubernetes clusters for use in your GitOps workflows by using the new GitLab Kubernetes agent user interface. I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time.